by Fari Rai Makivanyik Acting MDCT President Engineer Elias Mudzuri has joined the race to take over the reins of the opposition party from ailing leader Mr Morgan Changarai, who is battling colon cancer. Acting MDCT President Engineer Elias Mudzuri Center talks to a maze vendor during his tour of the Southerton Industrial Area in Harare yesterday. Picture by Innocent Makawa. Changrai on Monday hinted on early retirement from active politics for the first time since disclosing his condition in 2016, fueling frenzied speculation that one of his deputies, Nelson Chamiza, was set to take over by suggesting the need to hand over the levers of leadership to a younger generation. Eng Mudzuri threw his hat in the ring yesterday while addressing journalists after touring banks in the southern industrial area of Harare. In the unlikely event that he missed a Changarai, fails to recover, I think you can see that we have a bull-bodied people in the MDC, it's an organization, one of us should be able to take over, he said, pressed to state whether he was prepared to succeed Mr. Changarai's MDCT leader, Eng Mudzuri stated, I am saying I could take over. One of us should be able to take over, I'm one of them, so am I not saying one of us? Mr. Changarai was diagnosed with cancer of the colon in 2016 and has been receiving treatment in South Africa since then. Eng Mudzuri was last week appointed by Mr. Changarai to temporarily run the affairs of the party while the opposition leader continues to receive treatment. Mr. Svangare's condition has intensified internal squabbles between supporters of Eng Mudzuri and those of his co-deputies Mr. Chamiza and Muztoko Zani Kope on who should succeed him. Following Mr. Svangare's announcement that he could soon retire from active politics, his spokesman Mr. Luke Tambor and Yoka clashed with party spokesman Mr. Robert Gutu accusing him of encroaching on his turf after the latter sought to dismiss the statement that Mr. Changarai could soon step down. Mr. Chamiza and Ms. Kope also snubbed an election directorate meeting chaired by Mr. Mudzuri in Bulawayo on Tuesday, with the two believed to be actively pushing for Mr. Changarai to retire. The bickering over the succession and health of Mr. Changarai forced his family this week to issue a statement, saying matters concerning the opposition leader's health would from now on be communicated to the public through Eng Mudzuri. Eng Mudzuri however downplayed the power struggles in the party. There are no internal squabbles. Where are the internal squabbles? You are creating it. I don't know who is squabbling with whom. I have got all my colleagues we are talking, we are forging forward. I don't know which internal squabbles you are talking about, he said. He added that the MDCT had the capacity to turn around the economy. The MDC is the best party in the country. It has got all its structures intact. It has an acting president and a president who has a vision, who knows exactly how to sort out this economy, he said. Eng Mudzuri was accompanied during the tour by MDCT Deputy National Chairman Mr. Morgan Komichi and Youth Assembly Secretary General Mr. Love Morchuniputsa, MDCT Presidential Spokesman and Director of Communications Mr. Luke Tambor and Yoka told journalists that Eng Mudzuri had been directed by party leader Mr. Changarai to make the tour to see how the people were coping in the current economic environment. The team toured for Banks in the Southerton area, where people in bank queues said there seemed to be no respite to cash shortages. For now, they complained that banks had reduced withdrawal limits to only $50 per week, with the amount being dispensed in coins that were inconvenient to carry. The acting MDC leader also toured some industries such as back logistics complex that have now been reduced to empty shells because there is no longer any production taking place in the country said Mr. Tambor and Yoka. He also spoke to vendors selling the wares in the Southerton area who complained that the liquidity crunch and the state of the economy had affected the businesses, he said. The Herald